Welcome to our executive interview series at the Elastic Public Sector Summit presented by FedScoop. I'm Billy Mitchell and I'm here with Ian Lee, Security Operations Team Lead at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Ian, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'd like to start by asking Ian, given the exponential growth of AI in recent months, how will the, that help public sector cybersecurity leaders more effectively identify anomalies across their IT ecosystems and bolster their cyber defense posture? Yeah, I think uh, the important thing here is that we have increasing amounts of data. So requirements like OMB's M2131 uh, lead us to pull in even more data than we've been pulling in. And figuring out what is normal in that baseline is, is increasingly a challenge. So we have, uh, for us, we have decades worth of, of experience and infrastructure with our HPC systems, pulling in vast amounts of data and uh, wanting to understand what is normal so that we can start to find what is abnormal and what are the opportunities to improve our, our systems behaving and operating the way that we expect them to, to get all the efficiency out of them that we want. And Ian, how will robust search analytics platforms likely help agencies address growing nation state and criminal cyber threats and better protect critical infrastructure? Yeah, it really builds off the, the first answer there where uh, being able to establish that known good baseline will allow us to better spot when something is abnormal. Uh, there was some talk at the, the sessions this morning about establishing that baseline, and much more often we're seeing actors living off the land using tools that are common to the environment. But usually there's a signal there for that tool might be normal in the environment, but not normal for that particular user or that particular uh, type of activity, the system that it's running on perhaps. And being able to actually pull that out in real time is going to increasingly be the job of machines. They need to be the ones to actually look at that data and figure out what is normal for that user on that system at that time and be able to actually surface that in a meaningful way to a human that can take action against it. All right, great thoughts. Ian, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.